Hey, Marcus Conti reporting. So Microsoft, you heard Microsoft, the big Microsoft Corporation had a had a had an awakening, right? They want to give a little back to the community. They want to give a little back to the uh, smaller people, the the little people. You heard they they want to build houses for people to solve the 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 housing problem in Seattle, right? There's big homeless problems. People with tents, right? No one, you know, affordable housing is a uh, is a uh, is not affordable at all, right? So Microsoft dug in five hundred million dollars to address the problem. <clears throat> wow, we should be. Right, that's a move in the right direction. Right, they're reinvesting their 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 treasure back into the uh, economy. Right, that's a good thing. Right, so let's see what happens. Microsoft pledged five hundred million to address homelessness. This is the New York Post writing. This is how mainstream media is reporting it. I'll tell you what it really means. Microsoft pledged five hundred million to address homelessness and develop affordable housing in response to the Seattle region's widening affordability gap oh, that's a nice word affordability gap most of the money will be aimed at increasing housing options in the Puget Sound region I don't know Washington people tell me what that is P-U-G-E-T Puget Sound region for low and middle income workers at a time when they're being priced out of Seattle and some of its suburbs and when the vast majority of new buildings target wealthier renters said Microsoft said Microsoft's president, Brad Smith. So he's saying people, Brad, Mr. Brad Smith is saying, people are being priced out of Seattle. We have to make affordable housing, right? <clears throat> this is Microsoft's between the lines. This is Microsoft's emergence into real estate. That's all it is. They're not trying to help anybody. And I'll show you what, I'll show you what I mean. The pledge is the largest in the company's 44-year history so they've never pledged anything for 44 years. That's kind of what that says, right? Or very little. Or or, or they've they've done it abroad to like, you know, the the the, eight, the AIDS crisis in Africa. You remember when Bill Gates was running over to trying to solve AIDS in in Africa. Meanwhile, they, meanwhile what they what he was really trying to do is sell the medications and get in on the the big pharma. That's, that was a big scam. So these guys are these guys are tugging our chain again. Uh, according to the company, is one of the heftiest contributions by a private corporation to housing, the Seattle Times reported. So that's what it is. It's 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 Microsoft making a move into housing. Uh, it's too early to say exactly how much affordable housing will ultimately result from the 500 million. Microsoft officials said. Smith said the company, based in Seattle suburb of Redmond hopes to leverage the fund there's the word leverage hopes to leverage the fund to help create tens of thousands of units right how many units can they actually build with 500 million the 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 rough estimate is about a thousand right? so they're going to build a thousand units but they're going to leverage it they're going to they're going to which means they're basically going to give that money up and then leverage with loans on top of loans, on top of loans, debt themselves, right? Make, you know, make whoever, whoever fucked, the, you know, they're going to put, right, create debt, right? 40 to 1 leverage, right? Scam. It's a scam. The, in, the initiative comes as Microsoft and other tech giants have driven the region's economy, boom, face increasing pressure to help my, mitigate affordable housing shortages. Microsoft is coupled coupling its contributions with a call for other companies to set it up. <laughs> We're doing it. Why don't you do it too? Well, fucking, come on, man. And for Seattle's east east side suburbs, of which Redmond is one of them. I'll tell you what this means in a second. Just let me get through it. The initiative comes as Microsoft's other... Uh, the company will split the funds three ways. Microsoft will loan $225 million to at below market interest rates. Uh, below market interest uh, they get a good deal now to help developers facing high land and construction costs build and preserve workforce housing on the east side where the company has 50 50 thousand workers and is planning for more right? so they're trying to get people they're trying to build houses like dormitories for their own people they don't give a fuck about anybody uh, the developments will be aimed at households 
making between get this, sixty two and one hundred and twenty four thousand dollars per year. <laughs> so so they're pitching it as they're trying to they're trying to solve the homeless problem, but really what they're doing is they're building dorms for their for their peasant workers. Who the hell knows what this is going to look like? Right? They, they're probably building dormitories like college dorms. Another, the other half of the five hundred million will go toward market rate loans for construction of affordable housing across that area for people making up to sixty percent of the local median income. Forty-eight thousand dollars for a two-person household. Well, that's more. That's more realistic, right? That's actually generous or uh, workable, you know. Where they're they're targeting housing for forty eight for about fifty grand a year for two people, right? The remaining twenty five million will be donated to services for the homeless. <laughs> they're throwing them a bone. Right? Uh, that money will get sucked up into the. Uh, that's the bribe. Right? That's the money that gets sucked up by the city. Smith said he views the fund as an acknowledgement of the economic realities faced by low salary workers. What? Wait, so Smith, this is, here's the ignorance, right? Here's where the ignorance kicks in. Smith said, that's the, that's the president of Microsoft, said he views the fund as an acknowledgement of the economic realities faced by low salary workers at the company and elsewhere. All right? So he's, he, they're building, that, that gives it away right there, that Microsoft is, is out in the news touting they're giving away five hundred million dollars, but they're not. They're building housing for their low salary workers and only half of that. And the other half is for their high salary workers. Hundred what was it? Sixty 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 two thousand to one hundred and twenty four thousand. Right? And some of it will be for peasants. The the four the fifty grand and below category. It'll be closets, I'm telling you, dorms. Right? And he says it in his own words that uh, the fund is acknowledgement of economic realities faced by low. It's no, there's no reality. There's no acknowledgement of the reality. The reality is people are living in tents in Seattle, and there's a there's a homeless problem, right? And you, all you're doing is just building more housing for yourself. Someone who's homeless is not affected by this. They're going to get thrown the the crumbs at the at the very bottom. That if 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 they get one meal out of that, that would be something. Thanks, Microsoft. You know. At some level, we as a region are going to need to either say there are certain areas where we're comfortable in having more people live, or we just want permanently to force the people who are going to teach our kids in our schools, put out our fires, build our houses, and lit and and keep us alive in hospitals to spend four hours every day getting to and from work. He said, "That is not, in our view, the best outcome for the community." Right, so again, here goes Microsoft. It's just it's just how they they they're not they're not they're not um out to raise up the community and reinvest in the community what they're out to do is raise up their own efforts and 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 project it as if they're uh philanthropists right yeah they're out they're out there building building housing for the community but meanwhile they're just building houses for their own their own gain Marcus Conti reporting.